Please stay tuned following this presentation for previews of other Barney Home videos. Okay, remember, the magic words are once upon a time. some very fancy footwork. Marching here, marching there, marching, marching everywhere. <laughs> uh, but, uh, Kristen, uh, why do you all have umbrellas on such a sunny day? To keep rain off, of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, but why do you think it's going to rain? Because I'm going to use my magic words and make it rain. Oh, I see. And where did you learn these magic words? In school from my teacher. She said four of the most magical words you could ever know are once upon a time. Oh, yes, those are very good words, but uh, I don't think the teacher meant you can do real magic. <laughs> once upon a time, it started raining on a sunny day. Oh, it be lots of fun, but I'm not so sure that they... Uh, uh, hey, it really is raining. And it's still a sunny day. <laughs> Rain, rain, go away, come again another day. Barney's friends all want to play. Rain, rain, go away. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He went to bed and bumped his head and couldn't get up in the morning. It's raining. See, 
The words really are magic. Well, maybe it was going to rain anyway. Then let me try something else. Once upon a time, it started raining bubbles. Now that would be magic. Oh, it would, wouldn't it? Yeah. Raining bubbles. Oh, silly. Look, there are bubbles everywhere. Oh, and they tickle. Oh, I no. like this kind of rain. Oh, oh, I never knew that it could rain bubbles. Sure, I can make it rain bubbles all day if I want to. Then why have all the bubbles stopped? Because my bubble machine just ran out of bubble juice. Oh, oh. Carlos. Carlos. Shine. Shine. Magic words, huh? <laughs> just kidding. Oh, hi, Carlos. Hey, Carlos. Hi, Carlos. hi everybody. I guess we won't be needing these umbrellas anymore. Unless Shine and Carlos have more weather jokes planned. Oh, that's true. Oh, 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 We had sunshine and rain and even bubbles. Yeah. That's right. It seems like we had every kind of weather except snow. Yeah, snow. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Now we've got snow. Guys, <laughs> where's the snow coming from? Look, oh, it's our Stella. good friend Stella the Storyteller. <laughs> Good dog. That's how they say hello in Norway. And that's where I just came from. It's just a bit snowy there today. <laughs> May I help you with your bag, Stella? Why, thank you, Barney. Oh, certainly. Is it winter in Norway? Not really, but in some parts of Norway, it's cold and snowy almost all year round. Mm. Thank you. <gasps> oh, and thank you, Barney. My toes. Feel just like icicles. <laughs> Let us help you with your snowshoes. Why, thank you. When I was in Norway just now, I thought I heard someone say, once upon a time. And that reminds me of a story. In fact, once upon a time reminds me of all my stories. Oh, I'm not surprised, because those are the four words that tell us we're about to hear something wonderful. <laughs> when you say the words, once upon a time, then you know a story will be told. When you hear me say, once upon a time, then a wondrous adventure will unfold. Once upon a time means it's time to pretend Let your imagination go On a journey into storyland To hear a tale from long ago Once upon a time Once upon a time Means a story to tell A tale to share with everybody upon a time open the door to all sorts of stories and imaginary adventures. Like Jack and the Beanstalk, Little Red Riding Hood, Johnny Appleseed, the Three Bears. And I think they all lived happily ever after. <laughs> once upon a time, once upon a time, means a story to tell, a tale to share. With everybody Well, I think that could be arranged. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Let's see. 
Which story shall I tell? This one. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Seems I have so many things in here <clears throat> to tell so many stories with <clears throat> that I think that everything is <clears throat> Whoa! <laughs> I guess I really did have too many things in there. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you sure keep a lot of wonderful things in your bag, Stella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> These are the things I used to tell stories to children all over the world. Oh. Seems a shame to put everything back in my suitcase without even telling the stories. Uh -huh. But we'd like to hear the stories. We sure would. Yeah, yeah we sure would. All of them? All, all of them. them. Maybe we could even help you tell some of the stories. Sure. And we can use our imaginations, too. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, that would make it more fun while I'm packing my suitcase. All right, we'll do it. Yes! 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 What is this thing, anyway? Oh, well, that's a spinning wheel, Carlos. A long time ago, people used them to help turn sheep's wool into cloth. That's right, Barney. But... In the story of Rumpelstiltskin, the spinning wheel is used for something else. Once upon a time, there was a young girl who usually lived on a small farm. The king had heard stories that the girl could spin straw into gold, so he brought her to his castle. Young lady, people in the village say you can spin straw into gold. And I just love gold. But your highness, I can't... Ah, uh, tonight you will be locked in this room, and I want you to spend all of the straw into gold. If you can do it, I will marry you and make you my queen. But what if I can't do it? Then you'll be locked in this room for the rest of your life with bread and water for every meal. And no dessert, ever. Not even a banana? Not even a banana. Okay, I'll try. The young girl wanted to spin the straw into gold. She tried and tried, but she just couldn't do it. So she cried and cried. Boo-hoo, boo-hoo. I'm trying to spin all this straw into gold, but it still looks like cow food. Oh, boo-hoo. And just when that girl was as sad as she could be, something magical happened. Don't cry, Missy. Your troubles are over. <laughs> Who are you? I'm, uh, let's just say I'm a friend. A friend who knows how to spin straw into gold. You can? Oh, will you please? I'll do it if you promise to give me your first baby after you marry the king. The girl was so scared that she would have promised almost anything. So she said, All right, I promise. Hee <laughs> <laughs> then step aside and watch me do my stuff. And that funny little man began spinning the straw into gold. Here I sit at your spinning wheel. Spinning wheel, spinning wheel. Here I sit at your spinning wheel. Load the straw. This is the way we load the straw to spin it all into gold now. This is the way we turn the wheel. Turn the wheel, turn the wheel. This is the way we turn the wheel to spin the straw into gold now. Watch the gold come out of the wheel. Out of the wheel, out of the wheel. I see it coming out. It's turning to gold now. Now we'll spin it all night long, all night long, all night long. Now we'll spin it all night long. The straw will turn into gold now. 
that funny little man spun all night long. And in the morning, every piece of straw had been spun into gold. Well, it's time to go. See you later. Okay, time's up. Hey, look at this gold. You did it. Please say you will marry me and be my queen. Well, I'm not sure. From now on, I'll be the nicest king you ever saw. Well, okay. And so the two were married. And a year later, the king and queen had a beautiful baby daughter. Well, I've got some king stuff to do. See you later, queen. Bye-bye. And that's when the funny little man Came back. <laughs> I'm back. It's you. I didn't think you were ever coming back. Yep, a deal's a deal. Now hand over that baby. She's going to live with me. Oh, please don't take her. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't cry again. Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll give you three days to guess my name. If you can do it, you can keep your baby. Is your name a... Uh, Fred? No. Charlie? Nope. Wilbur? Uh-uh. Leopold? Leopold, no. The queen guessed every name she could think of that first day, but none of them was right. So the second day, she started guessing some very strange names. Pickle Nose Joan? No. Fungus Tea Jelly Belly? No. Stanley Stinky Toes? Nope. Herkimer Wiggle Squish? Herkimer Wiggle Squish? No, no. Okay, that's your last guess for today. See you tomorrow. <laughs> the queen was worried. But she had an idea. She called for her most trusted guard. You ring, Your Majesty. <laughs> oh, and then sent him out into the village oh. to see what he could learn. Your wish is my command. <laughs> and when he returned the next day, this is what he said. Your Majesty, I have returned. And what did you find out, Sir Barney? Well, while I was walking through the woods, I saw a funny little man who was singing and dancing by a campfire. He was singing, The Queen is going to lose the game, for Rumpelstiltskin is my name. Rumpelstiltskin, huh? Mm. <laughs> you may go now. Ooh. And thank you very much. Oh, no, thank you, Your Majesty. It was my pleasure. <laughs> It's me, and it's day three. Can you guess my name? Is your name, uh, Byron Butterbean? Byron Butterbean? No! Itchy Scratch Noggin? Itchy Scratch Noggin? No! All right, that's it. And I'll give you one more guess. Then I'll guess, um, Rumpelstiltskin? What? You did it! My name is Rumpelstiltskin, and I'm going. Rumpelstiltskin never bothered the king and queen again. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. Let's put these things back in my bag now. <laughs> that was a wonderful story. I liked it too. Oh, and Sean, you did a very nice job playing Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> Thanks. I'm just glad I don't have a great big name like that in real life. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It could be a lot of fun having a big name. <laughs> John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. His name is my name, too. Whenever I go out, the people always shout, There goes John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. 
after this time. John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. His name is my name too. Whenever I go out, the people always shout. There goes John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Da 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 da. Oh, even softer now. His name is my name too. That's right. Whenever I go out, the people always shout. There goes John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> well, look who's here! Hi, everybody! Hi, Barney! Hi, Hi, Hi. Hi. Oh, I didn't know you were listening. Oh yes, I was. I listened when you were very, very quiet. And I listened when you were very, very loud. <laughs> Baby Bob, would you like to be part of our next story? Oh, yes, please. That's good, because my next story is about a beautiful young girl who's way up high. Oh, oh, this is gonna be fun. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, Stella, Whoa. you look bewitching. <laughs> well, that's good, because for this next story, I want you all to use your imaginations and make believe that I am a witch. <laughs> oh, a really scary witch? Oh, no, not a scary witch. More like a silly witch. <laughs> <laughs> and I also want you to imagine an enchanted castle, the highest, tallest castle anyone has ever seen. Oh, my. <laughs> How can we do that? Oh, all we have to do is pretend and think of all the things that make a castle so special. <laughs> Fairy tale castles with beautiful flags flying higher than you've ever seen. Just imagine all of the things you could see. Maybe even a king or a queen. Magical places and musical things, big surprises and so much more. We could ride a horse, having fun, of course, an adventure like never before. Castle so high, up to the sky, I know that I would love to go there. Castle so high, up to the sky, wouldn't you love to go to? You love to go to. Oh, goody. <laughs> okay, oh. everybody, take a seat. Oh, okay. There. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful girl named Rapunzel. That's me. <laughs> Ever since she was a little baby, she had lived with the witch in the tallest tower of the biggest castle in all the land. I'm wet. No, she couldn't get out. That's what I said. Oh, sorry. Because the castle didn't have any doors or any stairs. In fact, there was only one way to get inside. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair so I can climb the golden stair. Okay, Miss Witch, here it comes. <sighs> Rapunzel's hair was so long, it reached all the way to the ground. And every day, the witch would climb Rapunzel's hair all the way up to the window. Oh, there. Oh, there you go. We really should get 
get an elevator. <laughs> I know. Ouch. Poor Rapunzel. She couldn't get out of the tower, and she didn't have any friends. Nope. But one day when the witch was gone, a brave boy from the village came to the castle. And he sang Rapunzel a song of love. Can you tie it in a knot? Can you tie it in a bow? Can you throw it over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Does your hair hang low? Yes, my hair hangs low and it wobbles to and fro. I can tie it in a knot. I can tie it in a bow. I can throw it on my shoulder like a continental soldier because my hair hangs low. <laughs> oh, sing some more. Does your hair hang low? Does it wobble to and fro? Can you tie it in a knot? Can you tie it in a bow? I can throw it on my shoulder like a continental soldier cause my hair hangs low. <laughs> <laughs> then the boy called out the words he had heard the witch say. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair so I can climb the golden stair. <laughs> Quick as a wink, the boy climbed Rapunzel's hair. There we go! Hi! <laughs> wow, your hair is really amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> What's your secret? I use baby shampoo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> After that, the boy came to visit Rapunzel every day while the witch was gone, and he hoped that someday he could think of a way to bring Rapunzel down from the tower. What happened next, Barney? Yes, what happened? What? Well... One day, when the witch came back to the castle... Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair so I can climb the golden stair. Ouch! You're too heavy. I'm not very heavy. You're heavier than my friend is. Your friend? Uh-oh. Oh, you've been tricking me. What? I know how to play tricks, too. But I... But... Oh. And the very next day... Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair so I can climb the golden stair. to think of something fast. You, you know, Miss Witch, you look really good with long hair. I do? Yes. I guess maybe I do. <laughs> but I don't think the hair looks quite as nice as it used to. Uh, no, it doesn't. What's wrong with my hair? Well, Rapunzel used baby shampoo every day. I'll bet if you did too, your hair would really be beautiful. Yes. I guess maybe it would. <laughs> All right, boy, get the baby shampoo and pour it on my hair. Yes, uh. ma'am. <laughs> there you go. Don't forget to rub it in. Oh, I won't. I won't. <laughs> Hey, what's this? My hands are stuck to my head. That's because I didn't put baby shampoo on your hair. Huh? I used glue. Ew. Oh, tricked again. Oh, yay, yay. <laughs> hey, hey, let's get out of here. Okay. Hurry, hurry. Oh, yeah. After you, 
Rapunzel. Thank you. And Rapunzel <laughs> and the brave boy slid right down the witch's hair. <laughs> and do you know what? Yeah, I know. They all lived happily ever after. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Why, thank you, Baby Bob. <laughs> I think everything's gonna fit back into my suitcase just fine. Goody. Mm. But am I forgetting something? Only all this hair. <laughs> right! Oh. Bring it on over. Oh, here it comes. Oh, there's the hair. Oh, oh. Hey. hair train coming through. Bye-bye, hair. Oh. <laughs> wow. Are you sure all of this is going to fit in there? <sighs> I'm sure. Whoa! Oh. Oh. oh, my. Well, Stella, I don't think you have too much more to pack. Oh, in fact, I think we can use all of these things in one last story. We can? What story uses all of this stuff? Yeah. We well, it's a story that's not too long. And it's not too short. It's just right. Oh, I don't know. Why? I know that story. It's the three bears. <laughs> Ow! Why don't you tell it, Tasha? Okay, yeah. Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived in a little house in the woods. There was a papa bear. That's me. A mama bear. Hello. And a cute little baby bear. With a cute little blankie. <laughs> One morning, they were all going to have porridge for breakfast. <clears throat> hey, I wanted waffles. <clears throat> but when they took a bite, they got a surprise. I think it's too hot to eat. I think you're right. Oh, then I think we should all go for a walk in the woods. And by the time we get home, the porridge will be... Will be waffles? Uh, no, but the porridge will be cool enough to eat. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know. Let's go for a walk over the mountain. It's so pretty this time of year. Oh, good idea. Oh, walk, goody. <laughs> The bears went over the mountain. The bears went over the mountain. The bears went over the mountain to see what they could see. To see what they could see. To see what they could see. The bears went over the mountain to see what they could see. Whoa, are we there yet? on their walk, just as happy as can be. Now, in this very same woods, at the very same time, there was a little girl named Goldilocks. She had seen the little house in the woods and wondered who lived inside. Hello? Is anyone home? I guess not. Would anyone mind if I take a look inside? I guess not. Something smells good. Maybe it's waffles. Guess I'll have to set up for some porridge for breakfast. So she took a taste from Papa Bear's bowl. Well, this porridge is much too hot. So she took a taste from Mama Bear's bowl. Burr! This porridge is much too cold. So then she took a taste from Baby Bear's bowl. Mmm, this porridge is just right. Ah, oh, that was really good. I wonder what other things there are in this little house. 
Oh, I'm sure no one would mind if I sat down for a little while. I am a bit tired. So she sat down in Papa Bear's chair. Ouch! This chair is much too hard. So then she sat in Mama Bear's chair. Ooh, this chair is much too soft. So then she sat down on Baby Bear's chair. Ah, oh, this chair is just right. Oh well. All this eating and sitting has made me sleepy. So Goldilocks climbed the stairs and found three beds. So she lay down on Papa Bear's bed. Ouch! This bed is much too hard. So she lay down on Mama Bear's bed. This bed is much too soft. So then she lay down on Baby Bear's bed. This bed is just right. So Goldilocks pulled up Baby Bear's blankie and fell fast asleep. And that's when the three bears got home. The bears came back from the mountain. The bears came back from the mountain. The bears came back from the mountain. Say, that's funny. I don't remember leaving our door open. Oh, me either. Well, maybe we should take a look around. Oh, okay. But be careful, Papa Bear. Okay. Let's see what we can see. Hello? Is anyone in here? Hello? Oh, oh, what if it's a bear? Oh, oh, no. oh, oh. oh. wait a minute. Hmm? We are bears. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> hey, someone's been eating my porridge. Someone's been eating my porridge. Someone's been eating my porridge, too, and it's all gone. Mm. So now can I have waffles? <laughs> Please? So silly. Just a baby waffle? Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Take a look around here. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Someone's been sitting in my chair, too. And they broke it. <laughs> hey, this is not my fault. Then the three bears climbed the stairs to their bedroom. I'm sleepy. So oh, I. Take a nap. Uh, <laughs> Oh, look! Someone's been sleeping in my bed! Someone's been sleeping in my bed! Oh! Oh! oh. Hey, someone's been sleeping in my bed, too! And she's still here! Hey. Look! Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? All day long? Morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing. Ding, ding, dong. Ding, ding, dong. Oh, that's a pretty song. <laughs> <laughs> are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Are you She was so scared that she ran past the bears and down the stairs and past the chairs and out the door. And she kept running till she was all the way home. Let's look at the mess that little girl left in here. Yeah. Oh, how awful. How awful? Waffles where? I want a waffle, please. Oh, goody And from that day to this, Goldilocks never went inside a house without permission. And the three bears never forgot to lock their door. The end. <laughs> Need help doing the dishes? Oh, no thank you, Barney. I think I've got them. Oh, okay. <laughs>
In fact, I think I've got just about everything packed up again. Uh, oh, goody. <laughs> Are you sleepy, baby Bob? Uh-huh. The Three Bears is my favorite bedtime story. And right now, I feel like a nap would be just right. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. 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 See ya. Have a nice nap. Bye. Well, I really should be going, too. I've got to take my stories to another part of the world. Then don't forget your snowshoes. <gasps> snowshoes. Oh, my goodness, I forgot. I'll have to change clothes for the place I'm going next. Oh. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't forget my cape. Mm -hmm. Can't forget that. <laughs> thank you. Oh, pardon me. I'll just be a moment. <laughs> but, Stella, how are you going to change clothes? You know those clothes I had on? They're reversible. I just turn them inside out, upside down, back and forth, and they look like this. Wow. Just right for storytelling in Hawaii. <laughs> I have had a wonderful time today, but I always do whenever I come to visit all of you. <laughs> Stella, wait. You almost forgot this book. Oh. I think it goes in your suitcase. Thank you, Sean. This is a story I want to share with children all over the world. What's it about? Oh, it's about a very special dinosaur uh -oh. <laughs> and his very special friends. Where are you? Could we hear the story? Yeah. Oh, you don't need to hear it. You're already in it. <laughs> but I will tell you how it ends. And they all lived happily ever after. Yeah. <laughs> That's my very favorite ending. <laughs> well, now it really is time for me to go. So, as they say in Hawaii, aloha. <laughs> aloha, Stella. Bye. I just love this job. <laughs> <laughs> Toodles. Bye. 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 Have a nice trip. Wow. Whoa, there she goes. And I love a good story. <laughs> See everybody, it's like I said before. Once upon a time, those are magic words. Oh, well, Sean, I don't really know if it's the words that made today so much fun, or if it was just sharing the whole day with the friends we love. I love you. You love me. A happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? I love you, you love me. We're best friends like friends should be with a great Look at the bubbles! Where are they coming from? Sean, did you say once upon a time again? No. Did you say it, Barney? Barney?